Hi guys, how you doing? Welcome to Friendship Shaving. I hope you're well. I'm glad to be here. This week, as you can see, I'm going to be using my rubber set number three with a synthetic duro knot from Crown King. And I'm just going to put that in a drop of water and I'm going to be using my G-Bar, commonly known as the G-Bar, but it is in fact the Gem Heavy Flat Top Razor. And uh, I've got a new blade in there and I guess you could say I've got a bit of a treat. And uh, I need to thank Jeffrey Smith for sending these from America. Can't get them in this country and I'm very, very pleased to get them. I used one yesterday. The video went a little bit awry so uh, you won't get to see my first use of these but suffice to say it was an excellent shave and I'll talk more about that as we go along. Now I'm going to be using, I've got the lid here, some Crown King Holiday another offering from Douglas Smythe and this is a terrific soap and I'd just like to show you that is the size of the sample pot Fantastic. So this is lime, patchouli and mint. And I've got some put into my bowl. And I'll lather up now. Just tip some of that balloon water out. This is a nice soft soap so it's very easy to put into your bowl and spread out to get that uh, good surface area. Smells beautiful. You can really smell the lime obviously but you really get a bit of that patchouli sitting behind it and um, it's not something that I would have thought went together at all but I think it does. I think it's a very nice scented soap indeed. I've tried a couple of nice ones recently from um, PAA or Crown King. Uh, another one I tried recently is the Tokyo Rose and uh, it's like got a kind of a cherry smell and uh, I like that very much indeed as well. So there we are about 30 seconds and I think there's plenty of soap in the brush. Now I don't know if you've noticed but I re-knotted my rubber set with the synthetic knot, the Duro knot. It's described as being uh, like a synthetic bore but uh, it is super super soft and it is packed with very fine synthetic fibres. It really has got a full knot on it and it feels terrific to shave with. A beautiful, beautiful knot and um, do you know you can still pick one up for uh, I think it was five dollars, five dollars ninety five at PAA if you find their sale page a way you can pick a brush up on their set of page for ten dollars but uh, this is really fantastic you don't see many rubber sets around these days they used to be quite popular, um, beautiful looking brush. They are quite expensive. You know if you find one you could pay anything up to sort of 70 pounds or more for one. 
But they are a terrific brush though. They are a hollow aluminium handle. So they are really very light. There are lots of copies around. Very good copies as well I might add. But, um, and I've got one of them. I've got the uh, PAA Switchback 400. Sorry, the Crown King Switchback 400. Uh, which I'll be moving on, but um, I decided to keep the original. Beautiful, this is. Terrific lather. Oh, wonderful. Gosh, up my nose. <laughs> now, if you uh, Look out for Jeffrey Smith on YouTube. Jeffrey has his own shaving channel. He has a very calm and relaxed demeanour, which I like, and he has some fantastic looking stuff. Now, these treat blades, they are made by the uh, American Safety Razor Company, One Razor Blade Lane, Verona, Virginia. They are uh, are a stainless bleed blade um, and they just come as usual in a little wrapped in cardboard there. I did try one of the old treat carbon blades once, a uh, carbon steel blade but this isn't one of those but much like that blade this really is a fantastic shave so thank you very much Jeffrey for sending these over to me. The reason I was so keen to try them is because I don't like the Persona Gem Blades that we can get over here. They seem to be very popular. But honestly, it feels to me as if I'm scraping my face with a rusty tin on the first and second shave. And I find them, even after that, that first and second shave, I find them to be quite a harsh razor. Whereas this one um, is very gentle indeed. It's a lovely, lovely blade. And there, I've just got the angle spot on there on my neck. You can just feel it as soon as you get it. Wonderful, wonderful feeling to it. It feels like it's a coated blade, but um, I don't think it is. I think it's just a really well made, nice blade. It's quite uh, quite nice indeed. The American Safety Razor Company that I was just talking about there, they bought out the Treat brand, the Treat brand and the Persona brand in 1953. A 
so I find it very interesting that uh, you know they would continue to produce under their own name. But honestly, guys, if you have got a single edged razor, do yourself a favour and try some of these blades if you can, because they are absolutely A1. Love them. Of course, the American Safety Razor Company bought out GEM and Everready, or rather, they were formed by the by the coming together of those companies. So these blades really do kind of fit with this lovely, lovely razor. And I must give a shout out to Andy Campbell, who is the Northern Razor on YouTube. Um, he used his G bar for the last shave, and I just thought, you know, I haven't used mine for ages, and I thought I'd get it out. And the reason I haven't used it, of course, is because I don't like those jumper Persona blades, but. Uh, now that I've got these, I'm away because this is just a fantastic razor. I think they go together well in sort of age, the razor and the brush. I think the rubber set uh, I think they were produced, if I can remember rightly, from 1938 onwards, and they stopped making them. Well, rubber set stopped making shaven brushes in 1957. Um, so my eyes are really, it's, you know, from the very late 30s through to 1957. I guess that just before the war and during the war, all aluminium would have been um, put towards the war effort. Um, so maybe the rubber set brushes weren't produced between 1939 no, 1945 so you know it's, it's more likely that my brush is you know late 40s through into the 50s and although I've not been able to date my gem razor Oh, do you know what? This is a beautiful brush. God, it feels fantastic. Anyway, although I've not been able to date my gem razor, I do feel that two is of an age, you know, sort of late 40s through into the 50s. To me, when I look at it, it looks... You know, it's retro, but it, it's quite futuristic, I feel, and especially with the shape and this little, this little handle at the bottom here, which, you know, fits your fingers perfectly. Um, it's an absolute stunner of a razor. And you can pick them up really cheaply. They're, they're chrome-plated 
rather than the usual nickel plate in there. The chrome has a different hue. And uh, mine cost me £8. And um, the ones I've seen for sale on eBay um, are not expensive and they seem to retain that really nice finish. They all seem to be in really good condition. So maybe if you haven't got one, you know, you might consider looking out for one um, if it's not too expensive and trying it because I think this is tremendous. Especially now that I've got these lovely blades. some feedback on it but even against the grain there it's, it's it's quite gentle it's nice really nice Well guys we are into December, are we into December? I can't quite think of the date, anyway we're very nearly there. I've been making these videos for just about a year now, just a little bit over. I have uh, over 500 subscribers to this channel and I never thought that would happen so thank you for supporting me through this year and for joining in. And do you know the best part about doing these videos is the people that I've been in contact with. And uh, I've met some really, really nice people in the Shaven community. So for me, it's been a, a great experience. Now I'm going to have a little bit of a clear out. And I think next year you might see some different razors in the den. Excuse me, running some water. I like to explore, as you know, the vintage razors. I think they are fantastic. But some of the prices now of vintage razors, even the ones that are in terrible condition, you know, they seem to fetch a high price and it seems that the prices are just going up and up and up. <coughs> and there are some modern razors I would like to try very much. I was looking at a Mula Rocker the other day, very nice looking razor, stainless steel and uh, it was about £70, I can't remember the exact price, it might have been 79 or or 71 I can't remember, but you know, a stainless steel razor for 
70 pounds seems seems like a good deal to me so uh, I will be saving up I think to try for one of those it will be on my birthday present list my birthday is at the end of January so uh, I will be dropping hints to my family <laughs> But yeah, very nice looking razor and um, you know some of the other Moolah razors are, you know, they're only 30 odd pounds for, you know, a really nice razor. So I may well be trying some modern razors next year. You know, that was terrific. I've got just a little bit just under here. The all spots there. Lovely, lovely shave. And uh, today I'm just going to use some Lucky Tiger because uh, I feel it will go very nicely with the lime of the Crown King Holiday. Really enjoyed that soap. And a nice bit of Gloyd in the soap as well. Um, lovely bit of residual slickness. I thought that was a very nice soap indeed. It's very difficult, isn't it, to buy soap and know whether you're going to like it or not. I think these samples that the soap companies put out are just a terrific idea. Especially that one, it's such a big sample. Let me show you the ones I get from Canort Shaving in comparison. Oh, that smells beautiful. I love Lucky Tiger. I wouldn't say it was really an aftershave, but it, it's just, it's just, what would you call it? What do they call it? A face tonic. I think that's I think that's right. Anyway, this is the Crown King sample compared to you know a 10 mil sample from uh, Canort Shaving. So you know there's quite a bit of difference. It doesn't say what size this is, but there's plenty in there. Very good. So that chaps is my shave with my uh, rubber set number three. Uh, apparently this was a mid loft razor and the number four was a high loft razor um, and my gem G bar or heavy flat top razor wonderful shave with the treat blades super single edge absolutely wonderful so thank you Jeffrey wonderful <laughs> what more can I say that's my lot you all take care of yourselves have a really really good week and I'll see you next time around. All the very best to you. Bye bye now.